Hello everyone, I'm Carlos Yela, and if you're like me, you must be really excited about the new improvements Magic Lantern has been announcing these last weeks. And the unleash of the RAW format in the 5D Mark III is actually the biggest news they have had in a long time. This is still in the beta phase, and it should be used on your own risk, but trust me, it's worth the try. For those who don't know much about RAW format, it is a format that gives you 14-bit color depth. That means a lot of resolution and maximum color range possible of an image. Before, this could be accomplished only for pictures, but now, thanks to the people at Magic Lantern, it is possible for videos as well. Moving forward, when I first got to know about these news, I wanted to try it by myself. I found the guide the good people at Cinema 5D did for this, with very detailed information about where to download the beta package, how to prepare the SD card, and also a little tool to prepare it. They include all this information in the description. But now that you got everything ready, your camera, your SD card, your compact flash card, now is the time to start shooting. Then is when things start to get complicated with a workflow. Newman Films posted a workflow on their website where they offer their version for the workflow for the RAW format which is not bad for beginners, but once you start getting dozens of raw clips is when things start to get really complicated. That's why I decided to make my own workflow having these pages as my source, but adding an extra tool that I'm sure will be very helpful to you. In order to make the raw files usable, you need to create DNG files with a raw to DNG script but until now, your only option was to do it manually, not anymore. Together with Fox Drive, we came with a batch file solution. This file named raw2dng.bat makes all this process automatic. It first creates a folder with a file name, then runs the raw2dng.exe command for every raw media file to generate the DNG files and group them in a folder which then you can import in your video editor. This process will take quite some time once you start it, but trust me, it's a lot better than doing it manually. In order for the BAT file to work, you need to have everything in the same folder. That means the raw files, the exe file, and also the BAT file. That way you can just click on it and relax have a drink, have something to eat, it will be done automatically. I hope this helps you in your future projects. I will be uploading some night test footage I got tonight if you're interested to see the raw format in action. Remember to comment and also give the video the thumbs up, alright? See you next time.